Well, good morning, Southlake family and friends. Happy Wednesday. So today I'd like us to look in Psalm 37, verses 3 to 6 in our reading, and to look at three commandments. You know, the Bible, of course, is filled with commandments that are linked to promises. And we see here in Psalm 37, very well-known psalm, by the way, um, just a very important, I think, significant both commandment and promise for daily living. And so the three commandments are found in verses three to six, Psalm 37, verse three, it says to trust in the Lord. In verse four, it says to delight yourself also in the Lord. And then in verse five, it says commit your way to the Lord. So the three commandments, trust and to delight and to commit and then they're followed by a promise. Look at the promise in, the, in just a second. But what does it mean to trust in the Lord? It means literally to lean on the Lord. So if he goes down, you go down. But of course, he's not going down. So he's the one person in your day today that you can trust in. The second thing is delight yourself also in the Lord. The word delight is a word, interesting Hebrew word, means to be delicate. It's speaking of beauty. It's speaking of loveliness, speaking of that which is peaceful. It's really talking about happiness and pleasure and finding that in the Lord. Delight yourself in the Lord. Third one then is to, the third command is to commit your way to the Lord. And this literally in Hebrew means to roll onto. And I think it's speaking to those things that happen in any given day that are maybe a little more difficult for us to commit to God. We kind of tend to want to hold on to certain things. But it's a very decisive act of making a decision very intentionally that I'm going to roll onto. I'm going to like cast my care on him, as Peter referred to it, and really commit my way to him in that sense. So what's the promise? The promise is mentioned in verses five and six, the same thing. It says, if we'll do that, trust in, delight in, and commit to, and what he does, here's the promise, he shall bring it to pass. And then he says the same thing in verse six, he shall bring it forth. And the word bring here is talking about something that has a forceful impact, that the Lord is able, as we follow him today in his commandments, then he will, he promises to bring it for you. I mean, think about it. We use that phrase that, you know, we're to bring it, you know, God can bring it unlike any other. And he will do that as you walk with him today, as you follow him today, as you trust the light and commit your way to him today, then he will will bring it today on your behalf. So Lord, today we thank you for the promise of what you will bring. Lord, when you bring something, so many times it's out of nowhere. Some, so many times it's, Lord, it's, it's kind of, we don't even see it coming, but you're so faithful. And so help us, to, even though we don't see everything happening, that we would trust you for what you'll bring to our day to day as we choose to follow you and, and put you first, Jesus, in our life. Thank you for providing for us protecting and directing us this day for all of us, for our families, and indeed for our church family. That's our prayer in Jesus' name. Say amen with me, will you? Well, amen and amen. Well, God bless you. Have a great day. I look forward to talking to you in the morning.